With Fortnite Season 7 just releasing, it's that time again. Ash and Flash and I teamed up to deliver a series of 20 minifigures from Fortnite Battle Royale based on what LEGO would realistically make in a fourth series like this. Our first minifigure is the only of the level 1 Battle Pass skins to become a figure this time, Lynx. She has a new helmet piece, a reuse of the cattail piece, and a new printed 1x2 tile of the creative mode phone. Her face print underneath represents her tier 1 style. Beef Boss has been heavily requested since Series 1, and I'm amazed it has taken this long for me to cover him. The new headpiece is pretty darn complex, and his accessory is a fancy tomato, a jab at the whole Food War storyline in the game. And this series is filled with Christmas skins, the first of which is Crackshot, who has a completely new complex headpiece, and his accessory are straight out of the Season 7 trailer, a picture frame 2x2 tile of his family, and a printed plate piece of fresh Merry Marauders. Love how Ash and Flash Legofied the portrait. Don't think we're done with Halloween though, as the last series had a single Christmas minifigure, this series has a single spooky minifigure. Hollowhead, which reuses a jack-o'-lantern piece with new printing, and Shredder's shoulder pad in olive. Keep in mind, as with my more recent series, I'm trying to be conservative with my use of new pieces. His accessory is a printed 2x2 tile of the Eerie Music album, and a CD reusing printing from DJ Yonder. Onesie is our next Season 7 skin, and she uses a new hood piece similar to Laloid's from the LEGO Ninjago movie, and her accessory is a regular tomato, using the same new piece from Beef Boss. There's Elmira, with a recolor of the Scarecrow's hair hat combo, and her accessory is the Spell Slinger pickaxe, which admittedly we cut corners on to not use new pieces. The Hunting Party skin is necessary for the series, AIM, and we decided to get a more traditional minifigure route for him since this is a blind bag series. The accessory is his Elim back bling, a new piece, and my favorite back bling in the game. This counts his elimination, so we settled on having a stud in the middle of the back, allowing one by one tiles to be attached. There's four tiles that would come with him, the base crosshair, a tile for 1, 7, and 14. 14 is shown on the sample image, but I can't ever imagine myself getting that many eliminations in a single game. Codename Elf is our next Christmas skin in the series, using a new hair hat combo. Now, we tied the new phoning it in emote for this minifigure, which is why there's a sax piece and an alternate face of him playing the sax. Rogue Agent is a skin that was originally released as a starter pack, but its popularity led Epic to bring it back on the item shop months later, and the design for him uses the new helmet piece introduced in the LEGO Movie 2 sets with a visor, and his accessory is a newer dynamite item. Sergeant Winter is our third Season 7 skin, and he reuses a Series 16 spy hair in white with brown goggles. His accessory is our pet back bling from Series 3, which holds the ice version of Remus the Dog, which you unlock near the end of Season 7 Battle Pass. Hime almost made it in our last series, but I'm glad we waited since Epic has added some new customization to her recently, which makes for one of our most detailed minifigures. There's a reuse of Garmadon's helmet from the Lego Ninjago movie line, a brick-built cat's claw pickaxe, all with existing pieces, which are daggers on each side of a modified one by one with a hold stud up top attached to another hold stud all on a blue pole piece. Additionally, she has a new piece for the Shiro back bling, which holds a katana piece, not only that, but there's Nia's hair piece from the Ninjago movie in pure black to go with an alternate facial expression. That's a total of 15 pieces for one minifigure if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Moth Mando is next, one of the last season 6 skins with a new headpiece, Craven the Hunter's fur piece, and new wings. His accessory is a lamp harvesting tool, and gosh, I regret not getting this skin when it was on the items shop. Nog Ops barely made the cut for this series, and she reuses the 2012 Santa's hat with new printing, and we've tied this figure to the Llama Bell emote, which uses a new piece for the bell, and also the new Harry Potter wand for the baton. The Tender Defender is a popular recent skin, and our minifigure has a new headpiece, and his accessory is a scrambler harvesting tool, which is just a telescope with a whisk put together. Trogs are next Season 7 Battle Pass skin, using another new headpiece, a new piece for the top of his abominable axe, and also reusing the pet holder with new printing. This is for Hamira as the hamster, who uses an existing hamster piece. Figure 16 is Venturian, an item shop skin, and our figure uses a new helmet and the airfoil axe, which uses a new piece at the top of the pole connected to a cone. Next is Frostbite from the Fortnite Deep Freeze bundle, which reuses our headset piece from Series 2, and a new piece for the top of the Chillaxe. 
Since the ice camo design is too hard to print across all the body and the axe, we settled on a sand blue for parts where the printing would be hard to capture. War Paint is from the Founders Pack, and his minifigure reuses an existing cap piece. His back bling is Pursuit, which reuses our back bling piece from Series 1 with new printing. And finally, he has a hand cannon in the new green wrapping. Our second to last minifigure is the Red Nosed Raider, and she has a new hair antler combo piece, and the candy axe as an accessory, the crowbar with new printing. Not sure if LEGO would put that much printing to a section where a minifigure holds an accessory, but it still looks good. The Ice King is our last minifigure, and we have him based on his initial design. There's ways to upgrade and change his colors as you complete more challenges in the game, however. The hood piece is new, and his accessory is the Ice Scepter, which is made out of three existing LEGO pieces. Either way, here's all of our minifigures in the series together. I counted a total of 19 new pieces, 23 if you add the four introduced in our previous LEGO Fortnite series. Ash and Flash's artwork is phenomenal here, go check out his YouTube and Instagram linked in the description. If you like CMF Drafts, subscribe since we'll be doing our last series for the year in the next week or two, and if you want to support the channel even more, check out my Patreon. We also have a playlist of our LEGO Fortnite videos if you've missed any, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.